Hi everybody, this is Julie with Just Julie and a while back I was talking about a product that I tried and it had given me fuller lips temporary because I have really small lips but I, I'm not one for needles so I will, will never go in and have somebody cut my face or do anything. That just scares me. I know other people do it and hey, more power to you. If you guys can tolerate needles, um, that's great. I'm just petrified of needles, so I can't do it. So I was trying to find a different way to make my lips a little bit fuller. In particular, I mean, my top lip is so skinny. So what I found was something that has been on the internet, and it's called Full Lips. And what it is, it comes in a package, and it comes with one of these that looks like this. This is the medium one, and this is the other side of it. It looks like that. And then um, with it, the gal sent, and I just bought mine off eBay, but they also sell it on Amazon, and it's called Full Lips. And then she just sent this one for free. So this is the large one. I wish she would have sent me the small one because I have such small lips. It would have been good, but beggars can't be choosers. So this one she sent to me for free. So it was $19.99, and then I ended up getting two of them, but I thought I was only buying $19.99 for one. She sent a really nice card and a how-to and even her personal cell phone number in case I had any questions. And so the first time I tried it, I really noticed my lips getting fuller and I was so excited. But then just a little bit later after that, I got really purple up here and I thought, oh my goodness, okay, that's kind of scary. So what happened is I realized I was doing it wrong. So let's get started. The first thing that you should do is they said... You should exfoliate your lips. And I saw people using like a really soft toothbrush on their lips. But another way of doing it is my niece happened to buy me this um, lip scrub for Christmas. And to be honest, I never thought of using a lip scrub. I'm like, well, I don't really understand the point of it. But um, so basically, it's basically like taking sugar and Vaseline and putting it on your lips. This happens to be scented, like red velvet scented. And it tastes really sweet because of the sugar in it. But if you wanted to do your homemade version of it, just do a little bassin and a little bit of sugar and scrub it on there. And then it, it would be the same thing. It's going to moisturize it just the same. Because they said make sure your lips are moisturized when you do this. So this is going to look really silly. But I'm doing this so I can show you guys, um, if you do have smaller lips, how to make them fuller. And the thing is, I wouldn't do this on a daily basis because it's, it is time consuming and personally I don't really care that much about having fuller lips but if this was for like a work party or um, I don't know maybe a special dinner out with my husband or something like that then I would do it but I just wouldn't do it on a regular basis because I don't want to take an extra five minutes in the morning to do it I I told you guys before I get ready in 15 minutes and that's good for me and I'm, I'm happy with that so but on a special occasion absolutely I would completely do this as long as I can figure out how to do it so I don't have like the Kool-Aid look so I did take a screenshot of what I look like before and we'll kind of go back and forth of what my before looks like and then as I'm doing this so what they said to do is hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds each time and then you can put your finger if you need to to let go of the section in there but I haven't needed to let go of the section and here's where I went wrong I was putting this over my ent entire lips like this, and my lips were inside of it, but they're saying, do not do that. You're supposed to, like, open your mouth and have your lips go right on this part here rather than inside of there. If you do it inside of there, then you're going to create so much of a suction that you could end up with that, like, Kool-Aid look, which it looked like I drank a bunch of Kool-Aid. So let's get started here. Like I said, I know this is going to look silly, but to have fuller lips for a special occasion, I think it's kind of exciting. So let me be your tester and look like a silly quack quack duck. So let's get started, okay? So I'm using the medium one because I just think the big one is too big for me. Who knows? I might try it, but let, let's give this a whirl first and we'll see. So my lips are moistened from this, but just to be extra moistened, I did that. So I'm going to put my lips on this, and you're supposed to suck for about um, 10 to 15 seconds. And I won't really say much that uh, during that part, so just a heads up on it. I think 
I need the smaller one because I can hear the air coming out of there. Let's try it some more. I can definitely feel it tingling a little bit. So I definitely feel like it's doing something. So that's good. But in the end, I probably should have bought the smaller one. And I might just buy the smaller one just to try it out. I don't want to break away from this because I want you guys to really see this in real time. So if you have to fast forward a little bit, that's fine. I just want to keep trying it so you guys see this really for real. Like, not like you think I edited it or anything like that. I really, truly want you to see how this works. Like I said, I kind of think I need a small one. I'm going to try this one and see if I can get my lips around this better. Instead of this shape, this oval, I'm going to try this round and see if that makes a difference for me. This one definitely works better for me to get my mouth around instead of that oval shape. See that line that comes up here. Hopefully that doesn't stay for a long time because I would not like to go out like that. feel like I'm noticing something aside from a ring around my mouth. I do notice that it looks you can definitely feel it, and it looks a little bit fuller. I'm going to keep doing this longer. It's supposed to last as well, I forgot to mention that, for three to four hours. So, it's, I'm not quite where I would want to be though, so let me keep trying some more. Hard to 
get a section on this because my lips are so small. I definitely feel like they're getting bigger. I can feel some tingling in them and everything like that. Okay, for now I think I'm just going to stop and I'm going to go get my lip liner. So I'm going to take a still shot right now so you guys can kind of see where I'm at. And then I'll come back and do um, some lip liner so you guys can see kind of the aftermath of it. But I think right now I'm not seeing a huge, huge difference. And I've seen other videos where it looks like a big, big difference. So. I don't know. I think the problem is really that I don't have a small one because I've seen the other girls do it on, on YouTube and they seem to have the one that fits around their lips. So I think mine is just too, my lips are just too small, I think, for this. And I think I should have got a small one. <laughs> All right. Um, let me come back and do a little lip liner. Okay, so I am back with my lip liner, so I'm just going to try to do this. You guys, can can you see this red mark right here? That's from that suction thing, so I didn't get, uh, I didn't get the redness around my upper lip this time. I mean, there's still a line here, but it's not like Kool-Aid, so that will go away, but I did below. There's definitely a learning curve to this, and I haven't quite got it yet. I like doing lip pencil when I do my uh, lip gloss on top because it stains my lip and I, lips and I feel like it keeps them um, have a little bit of color longer. It's really hard to do in this camera when the camera is backwards from what you're used to doing now. Okay, and then this is just some um, Jenna Hip lip gloss that I got at Costco. You know, I got that at Costco. A little package. I can think I got four of them or something like that. I just like to put a little bit of lip gloss on it. Okay, so there it is. There it is, all done. But I definitely need more practice, I think, with this. So let me take a still shot now. And then we can compare them all and see what we think. But I definitely think I need the smaller one. Because I said your lips are supposed to tingle for a while. And it's supposed to be a four-hour effect. And the last time I did it, it lasted maybe a half hour. Maybe, yeah, a little longer. But I think like a half hour. So not that long. Oh, but my Kool-Aid stains last three days. So I pretty much stayed in that weekend. Hi everybody, so I'm here to report after using that one lip plumper that I showed you guys yesterday, the circle ones, that lasted for about two hours. I did get some purple color on the inside of my lips. Let's see, it's on this side. There's a little purple right here and a little coloring right in here. It doesn't hurt at all, so it's not bruised or anything like that. It just kind of turn purple. So anyway, I am going to try a different one and I've used this and tried to get used to it and I prefer this one. But I just wanted to show you guys two different versions of it. So this is called Miss Pump and I got this off of eBay and I think it was around $20. So how it, it comes like this in the package and it just looks like a little pump here and that's what you put your mouth on and it goes like that and then it'll suction it. I don't get the marks from using this. I have heard that you could, but so far I haven't. So I really like this one for that reason. So I'm just going to play around with this for a little bit and probably speed up the video so you guys don't have to see me doing this for a long time. But um, 
I'll just go right into it. So basically, you put your mouth on this, and then you're going to pull down on this, and it's going to put pull your lips through this, and the it'll put push blood up into your lips to kind of give them a more fuller effect. So let's just get started. I kind of feel like the suction isn't really great on this. So they said you can add lubrication onto this. So I'm going to add some lubrication and see if that makes a difference here. Okay, so what I did was just add a little bit of my almond oil to this part right around here. And it's it's a plastic part, but they said that that needs to keep lubricated for a better suction so that it will pull your lips through. So anyway, I just did that, and hopefully I can make this have a better suction. So let's try it again. I put a little bit of that almond oil also on my lips because it said it's good to keep them moisturized. So I thought well, I'll just add that on there too because I have a little extra on my hand. Okay, so I'm going to pull and see what happens here. I think it works better when you kind of make a suction sound or a suction motion in here and it, that seems to work better. So I'm going to keep doing this some more and let's see. I like this because I'm not feeling like it's turning my lips purple and not turning around my mouth purple, but I'm still feeling a suction, so I think that's good. I'm not feeling a huge, huge suction, so maybe that's why it's not turning my mouth purple. Let's keep trying. I'm not feeling any tingling or anything like that, so I'm going to keep at it. It said you're supposed to pull on this, but when I pull on it, it just seems to release the suction, so I'm going to keep trying. I don't notice any difference at all. No tingling sensation, no nothing. It said, please ensure that your pump is the right way. Shorter side up, longer side on the bottom. I'm not sure what they mean by shorter side up. I can see one side is cut in more than the other. Let me see. Doesn't seem to be working. Let's try this way. I'm actually starting to see a little bit of difference now. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good. Starting to see a little bit of difference on this thing. I'm going to try it again. I have seen the other ladies use them, and they've had some success with it. Hopefully, I have better news next time. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.